So now we'll talk about unsupervised learning and that's what the build up was about that in the case of RBMs we don't have Y's you only need to learn from the X's okay that's what we need to remember okay. Uh, so, so far we have always dealt with situations where we have Xi comma Yi and then it was easy to define some kind of objective function and the two popular ones which almost got us to the entire course were squared error loss and cross entropy loss right. But now we don't have Y's for the training label example we do not have a label associated with ok. So, now instead of the difference between y and y hat which has been our story always what can we maximize it contains only of x and just for sake of consistency of notation these x's are nothing but the visible units. So, irrespective of whether it is images or whatever, I am just going to call them as v. So, instead of saying that x is equal to x 1 to x n I am going to say that it is V right V 1 to V n I hope V m ok V m ok. So, instead of x's I am going just going to denote them by V. So, you want to I will give you a hint you want to maximize some probability you are given some training data what will you maximize. Once the model has learnt everything well what would you actually expect the model to do at least for the examples in your training data it should assign to what p of v comma h p of h p of v v comma h do you know what h's are no p of h do you know what h's are no. So, p of that is the only option left but does that make sense for everything that you have in your training data once you ask the model ok what is the probability of this image. I trained you on these set of images for God's sake please tell me the probability of these images right and what would you expect the answer to be I do not know. If I compute if I take one image from my training data make it a v right I will say that v is equal to pixel 1 v 2 is equal to pixel 2 and so on and I feed it to the network and I ask it to compute the probability of this particular configuration what would you want it to do this probability should be high that is what your wish list is. So, then just make this your objective function. So, what should your objective function would be for every image in my training example maximize p of v and that is the same as maximizing the the dash of the data likelihood of the data you have heard of this term before right. So, you would have done this in any kind of unsupervised learning right if you do E m or any of these other unsupervised thing you always maximize the likelihood log likelihood of the data how many of you seen this before maximizing log ok. Okay. So, this is what p of v comma h is if you have learned p of v comma h we can compute p of v from it right. We would want to know what p of v is equal to v for any v belonging to our training data and we would want it to be high. So, that is what our objective function is going to be for all the capital N training examples that you had maximize the probability of that particular training example. Right. So, of all the possible configurations that the random variable v which is a vector can take I want the probability mass to be concentrated on those configurations which I have seen in my training data does that statement make sense right and does this look like a legit objective function fine ok. So, now that we have agreed on that so our l theta and this is a slight abuse of notation uh, people write it differently. So, this is basically I think it should ideally be written as p of theta v i, but all these alternate notations are acceptable. It just means that the probability of a particular random variable taking on a particular value under the parameters that I have learned right. So, theta are all the parameters that I have ok. So, this is just for just consider this as p of v ignore the given theta part given theta just means that given the parameters that I have learned for the model ok is that fine ok. Now, we have the objective function what do we do next once we have the objective function once we have the parameters what do we need what is the learning algorithm how will we do back propagation gradient descent what is the keyword there gradient. So, what will we need gradient of what with respect to what loss function with respect to all our parameters what are the parameters 
W i j's, beta b's and c's. Okay, and as usual, we'll ignore the b's and c's and only look at the W i j's. Okay, so that's where we are headed. It's a slightly long route, but we'll get there. 